didn't make enough lines and we didn't root out we thought we killed Bodicea, we hadn't which was a big mistake so if we'd killed her the enemy would have started fleeing and being you know disorientated jill you were right down there at the front it was getting very confusing because it's all very well setting send the cavalry into the right but when you're actually there yeah. sending the cavalry into the right the right means nothing you needed clear instructions. You needed clear instructions, and maybe we should have had the intention to kill Bay to see it at the beginning. Joe, how did it look to you? I don't think we ever initially made that first plan that we had. I think they all started coming at us, and we were we kind of had a pocket here and a pocket way back. I we did. We and did I think do we it. Start... We did it. We did. We lined it up right. I think that the first problem. We said, all oh, right, that their chariots weren't a problem. And the first thing that was a problem was their chariots. They sent them straight in. Well, shouldn't you have reacted to that? We By the time we actually got any on the movement, they were, already, they were already there. All right, let's find out what our experts thought of how you fought the battle. Oh, Eric and Mike have been watching it all come down. Disaster. Oh, no. Very willing. <laughs> Mike and Eric, you've watched all of this. You spotted that you lost then. How did well, they do? Well, well they did really, really badly, didn't they? I mean, it's the, 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 the usual thing, nice people shouldn't fight wars, and you were just trying to sort of... Be nice. Be, be nice to each other, and you just didn't get that command structure sorted out, you know? And it's, you know, you've got generals, right or wrong, you've got to do what the generals say, and you've got to get that chain and command, and you've got to put that autonomy with the lieutenants on either screen. So you, you fight the fires, you control the overall tactics. Do you know who lost the battle? And do you know when it happened? Jo lost the battle, and it was when she compromised. At the very beginning, Jo looked at this battlefield, she looked at the layout, and she instantly grasped that the Romans had to remain concentrated at the top of that, that funnel, at the neck of the funnel, in order to win the battle. Jo saw that, she said it to everybody else, and then even before the first sword was drawn, Joe compromised, she gave in to what Gary and Paul had to say, and she allowed the force to be dispersed. Then, then at the end, you guys got fixated on killing Boudicca. Boudicca is not a general who is standing there at her radio transmitter telling everybody what to do. <laughs> Boudicca is in command of a large, loose collection of tribes. She's got a lot of guys with a lot of gusto, a lot of guts, a lot of testosterone, and and farm implements and they're gonna go out there and they're gonna be cutting you to pieces whether or not Boudicca is paying attention you focused on one chariot with a woman and two teenage girls in it <laughs> all four of you the gentleman can you show us what really Certainly. happened in history oh, absolutely. so clearly we have got a lot of people the British have got an awful lot of people this is two complete tribes, the Trevantes and the Iceni. Massive people with all their baggage and their families all in support. They're a tremendous equestrian culture. They have fabulous cavalry and they have chariots. And the cavalry and the chariots would work together very often. And one of the first things they do, we want to provoke you guys, we want to bring you off the hill. So they're going to send their cavalry and the chariots in. What you've got on there is you've got javelin men, both on the horses and the chariots, and we're throwing javelins at you. So we're trying to provoke you. We're throwing stuff in there and teasing you. And it worked for you, didn't it? It brought some of you forward. But did it move you? I don't care. You don't care. You can chuck toothpicks at me all day, and I'm not moving from this commanding position, just as, as, as Joe appreciated, this commanding position and that concentration. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to send my bravest men in, my best warriors, and we're going to come in with our spiky hair and our blue painted woad faces and shout at you, and we're going to throw more stuff at you and try and make you come out. Are you going to come out? I'm not even going to touch my croupier rake. No. You're not moving, we can't wait any longer, so we all oh, come on. We're going to start using our numbers to come on. And still you're not coming. I'm so not going to allow myself to be tempted until can't. I see the moment when I can make my concentration tell against the Britons, when I can move with those wings of light forces and cavalry supporting my infantry. And when I see that opportunity, I'm going to take all of my javelins, I'm going to throw them all at once, I'm going to go out on the field and I'm going to hit them hard. And I'm going to hit them and hit them and keep pushing them back down the field, concentrated, and I'm hitting for, see that board over there? That's the wife and kids back there. 
That is the logger of wagons at the other end of the field. That is a whole bunch of people who you might have thought had nothing to do with this battle, but who the Britons value highly. That's their logistics. That's their priesthood. That is their maintenance. It's all back there. And they're pushed up against that. And they are massacred. And the Romans win in real life. Bodicea escapes. <laughs> and and maybe himself. commits suicide by poisoning. Nobody really knows. And allegedly is buried under Platform 10, King's Cross Station. <laughs> <laughs> if Boudicca had won the Battle of Watling Street, her victory might have meant the end of the Roman occupation of Britain. History would have been totally reversed. Thanks very much for it's taking true. part in the programme. Did you, did you enjoy it even though you were humiliated? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we used to humiliate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, look, thanks for taking part. Thank you. No one leaves this programme empty-handed. <laughs> Actually, they do. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Great. Well done. The genius of Hannibal versus 10,000 Roman soldiers. The challenge for tomorrow's Time Commanders at 8 o'clock. Coming up next, the early days of television. What was it like in People's Century here on History? And over on Documentary Next, Britain's Greatest Hoax looks at the cover-up behind the lie that was Piltdown Man. <laughs>